Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here and I've got with me live in Sheffield at the library Leeds Road Attercliff, Ron Lyle aka Dennis Hobson, look at him, he's been lifting a few weights he's gone to his head How are you doing Ron? Alright, nice bit of Moroccan curry from Justin, thank you very much Just in time just in time. I found you just in time. I'm sorry, uh, Rami ain't here to join us, Dennis. Our Bulgaria, mate, last time we had a curry. By the way, do, you, do they still stay in touch with you, your, um, your groupies? <laughs> Bulgaria. Yeah, they do actually, yeah. Good lads. They're good lads, they're only from Mansfield. Yeah. So, it's been an event for a couple of weeks. Mm. How's Tommy Frank? You alright? Good. He's a, he's a pleasure to work with. Um, you know, work quite a few kids and, and sometimes you create monsters. Yeah. And I can't see that in Tommy. He's, he's, his head screwed on. He um, appreciates everything you do for him. Yeah. And <clears throat> I said to you before, I don't want anybody to kiss me feet, but I'm not bad at what I do. Yeah. And we like moving over and kissing, getting opportunities, and sometimes. You get, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. I've never ripped anybody off. Yeah. And you get sometimes you think, well, what have they fallen out? Yeah, and sometimes you think, oh, why didn't I get this? Why didn't I get that? I've never ripped anybody off in my life. And I don't need to because I've got a, I've got thriving businesses. So yeah. I'm in it for, for making memories and winning things. But we're business people and we should be paid. We don't get paid yeah. uh, as much as what we should because we don't take the percentages that other people yeah. take. But um, people sometimes don't don't play the game back and we get them up there when they're very humble then obviously they forget what you've done for them. But, you know, Tommy is not that kind of character. Appreciates everything you do. And he's humble, isn't he? He's humble, but we stay the course together. So we'll take him on to bigger things where he earns life-changing money. Will he win a world title, Tommy Frank, then? Well, a few doubters and people thinking it were a bit too soon and stuff like that. I don't know if you, even you thought it were a bit too soon, that Yeah, I did, frame. yeah. I thought it might have been a bit early. So I've got, I've got that little bit extra pressure, but obviously I manoeuvred, manipulated that situation to get him in for a yeah. vacant title. And um, he came through it. And uh, yeah. didn't just came through it. He just went to another level, so that tells me I've got somebody we can take on the world scene, and I do believe that. He won in style, didn't he, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Mm. And he handled it good as well afterwards, didn't he? He didn't go out big time, Charlie, did he? No, he, he went home, didn't he? And had a, his feet on ground, didn't he? He's got, a, he's got his head screwed on him. Yeah. I, uh, I rate him as a fighter, and, as a and I rate him as a person. I, I, rate, I really like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's likeable, isn't he, Tommy? He's got that likeableness about him. No problem, mate. To old friends and new friends. He's likeable, isn't he? Mm. He's got a good team around him. He's likeable in his way, like you're likeable in your way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, what's your thoughts on I think he's a good kid. As, as I've said many times before, I caught him that day, didn't I? Well, not caught him. I've seen him half five in the morning running up by your out up there, you know, where you, where you live. So, and it's not many. They all say they do the road work, don't they? But they don't really do it, do they? they? Well, only because you usually shout at that time a cat bird listen, <laughs> and he's not a cat bird. He's big enough to be one, yeah. or small enough yeah. to be one, but he, he's out at that time for right reasons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a talented kid, he's a hard worker as well, isn't he? In the mm -hmm. gym and that. Grab gym beats rat, craft. Isn't yeah, he's a gym rat. And of course, he's top boy in the gym now up there, isn't he? And they've got a good selection of kids coming through up there now, aren't they? There's that Tegan stock, they're all making a bit of noise about him, Dennis, aren't Tegan, they? Tegan, Kieran. Yeah, Kieran, uh, Wayne Keenan. Keenan. Keenan and Wayne Wright, yeah. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's got some good kids coming through. Um, he's had his ups and downs over the last few years himself, and yeah. as we all have. But he's, um, you know, we, we've, we've still got plenty of mileage in us yeah. to, to go and achieve, and we've got the experience now. 
to, that, that, that these young kids like Tommy can benefit from. He's only just turned 25, Tommy as well, he's got it all ahead of him, hasn't he? Sheffield United. Sheffield United, Bruce. though, they're not Wednesdays, isn't he? He is, but he's a Sheffielder. Yeah. Chris Wilder is a Sheffielder, even though he's a United, and I'm a Wednesday. I respect him because he's, he's a Sheffielder or, and, he, and, he did, and he's Chiefs as a Sheffielder. He's a United fan. Tommy's a United fan, but there'll be Wednesday fans going and um, supporting Tommy because he's doing it for Sheffield. Do you see a lot of Clinton, Dennis, in Tommy? Um, as regards to dedication, yeah. Yeah. But I, um, I think he's, um, I think he's a student of the sport, and what what I get different with we. we um, with Tommy is he'll go out and meet and greet he gets that side of it whereas Clinton didn't he wouldn't yeah. meet and greet people he wouldn't uh, he understands the game better than Clinton did yeah. there were no social media then though were there with Clinton no, you know? no social media but you can still go and shake somebody's hand and uh, by doing that they might they might buy another ticket or they might make him more of a household name people yeah. might read about him going up and down the country um, meeting and greeting people and uh, apart from his training, yeah, you've got to get the balance right, but Tommy gets it. Ricky Ann yeah. was, was a master at it. He was a dream to promote. Yeah. Tommy's got that, a little bit of that about him. Ricky yeah. were a bit of a jack of lad. Tommy is a bit of a clean liver. Yeah. Excuse me. But he's still got a, he's got a good sense of humour and, he, and people take to him. But the big thing which, which you need is he can fight. Yeah. 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 And, uh, so basically the show was a success then because Tommy won the belt, did he? Well the big thing was, I mean we had four pull outs in the last two days, so uh, yeah. we worried. Glenn said to me, Dennis what, what do you think, you know, you, 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 we've, we've lost a few fives, I mean, can you pull the show and put it back? Went, no we're not going to do that, we're going to put, even if there was just one fight on, we've just put that fight, Tommy fight on, because it's a good fight for the Commonwealth. They both weighed in, the Irish kids are over here, um, let's just get it on. And uh, it ended up with good TV. Yeah. Well, I'll just uh, so, uh, so all in all, Tommy Franks now going to be having a couple of defences, Dennis, yeah? Maybe. Yeah, and uh, holding on to Commonwealth belt, learning his craft a little bit more, do you think? What about Sonny Edwards? A lot's been said about him the last couple of days. He's had a lot to say, hasn't he? What's he been saying? Don't you want IFL? No. He says uh, he sparred with Tommy and he wants to fight him and that uh, you won't take the fight. Right. We've got a sell it, Sonny, Sonny. Oh, yeah. So it's a good Thank fight, God. though, isn't it? Down the line, isn't it? It's the both same age, aren't they? It's a good fight. Um, I, won't, I won't take fight. Well, I'll tell you now. Um, Tommy would fight him tomorrow. Yeah, because he's a fighter, isn't he, Tommy? Tommy will fight him tomorrow. Now, if that's not the rule, why do we fight Sonny Edwards yet? Sonny keeps winning, Tommy keeps winning, and we do it further down the line for a for a bigger for a for a for a world title. I think that's a world title that. Yeah, and I, I don't world title. I mean I hear good things about Sonny. Obviously his, his brother's won a world title. So yeah. Let's do it where both kids make a lot of money and then he's for a proper title. Uh, I mean, yeah. the Commonwealth's a, a, a good title. Yeah. Uh, but I think further down the line, like, you, you make it into a, a mini Ben Eubank type thing, you build it up. Yeah. They both get a bit more experience, the fight's going to be a lot more exciting, it's going to get a lot more publicity, and the kids are going to get a lot more money. So that's the sensibility of it. Not just go and fight him for sake of yeah. I believe I believe uh, Tommy can I believe Tommy beats Sonny, but it's a good fight. They're both good fighters. Um, and let them keep winning so they get more money out of the game. Obviously I'm gonna say that Tommy's gonna win because he's, he's my man. So that's how it works. Do you think that the Commonwealth titles lost a bit of cool just in the last twenty years, Dennis, with all these minor belts? Because you know back in the day you had Ben and Colin, Ben and Watson fought for it, didn't they? And it was classed as a big belt then, wasn't it, in the 80s? 
still is a big belt. It's only the fighters who fight for it make it bigger. And yeah, you can see I'm being as many bigger fights fighting for the Commonwealth Fair. It's a very prestigious. Put it this way, I wish I'd got it on my mantelpiece. Yeah. I've done all no. sorts in boxing. But I haven't got one of them and you can't buy one of them prices. Yeah. Price. Yeah. For me it's better than some of these intercontinentals and yeah. things like that what you get. But I take an intercontinental as well, so you know it's all a means to where you want to get to. Uh, if that were my boxing career and I'd want to Commonwealth, look at Nicky Piper. He dined on that on that for years and years, and he were only ever the Commonwealth champion all the way through his career. That an was. evening with Nicky Piper. Yeah, and he won a Commonwealth. Some people dine out on him, don't they? And let me tell you, I would. <laughs> look at Stewie Hall. He dines out on that IBF, doesn't he? He's done well, hasn't he, dining out on that? Yeah, well, there was only one person who got him that opportunity, you know. Yeah. And uh, we were very, very fortunate. And um, all I ask for with any fighter... Loyalty. A bit of loyalty and a bit of appreciation, and sometimes you don't get it back. Yeah, yeah you could, they can say, oh, I'm fighting, I'm the one who's fighting in the ring. Yeah, of course they are, they're taking the chance. But you could still be taking a chance for a, uh, an area title, an English title. They're still stepping in that ring. I managed to get some fighters who nobody fancied in for world titles. Yeah. And that changes somebody's life that. And all sometimes you ask for is a bit of appreciation and sometimes you don't get it back. Yeah. What do you think, Dennis, at the moment to all these English fighters going to wanted to fight in America? You know, the statistics are proving that people are knocking back fights on big platformers in the UK, open for the American knock at the door. What do you think to that, Dennis? Do you think the UK is not the place to be now? Of course the UK is the place to be. Yeah? Why, why, why Americans coming over here? Yeah. Um, we're the mecca of boxing at the moment. Um, the output situation as regards um, the TV platform, that's changing, that's evolving all the time and there's a big change at the moment, it's a bit of a revolution in uh, the, um, the production and the, the, the coverage of boxing. Yeah. And um, it's going to give more people opportunities rather than certain people just getting monopoly, so yeah. hopefully we get a little bit of a taste of that, but if we don't, we'll keep plugging away until we get an opening and you know we've been consistent as regard making competitive matches at a level yeah. so we'll just continue to do that Russ and then yeah. uh, oh, apart Ernst and Warren they've got a lot of stuff tied up but uh, apart from Ernst and Warren who is there who's delivered at the top 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 level you and McKennessy yeah these are the promoters out here yeah. good promoters who, who's, who's Sourlands good promoter yeah exactly Steve Goodwin Steve Goodwin they, they've had, they've had the, the dad who's delivering and, and I've got a lot of respect for Sourlands even though I've never really done any business with them Steve Woods consistently put promotions on but for whatever reason Steve's never wanted to take that plunge and do stuff himself on, on the big stage he's wanted to go with Earns or Warren and things like that yeah. I've never understand, understood that about Steve because I've got a right lot of respect for what he's done uh, yeah. but I think he could have been a bigger promoter because I think he could have potentially had his own TV deal Maybe he just didn't want to take risk then? Uh, maybe and that's what I've, I've always been a calculator gambler some have won, some have lost Yeah. Yeah my dad were compulsive, weren't he? They liked to bet, didn't they? Like to bet, even to and, and I like a gamble. And, uh, and obviously, it's a business gamble, and some, some have won, some have lost, but I've, I've won a lot more than I've lost. Yeah. How do you see the heavyweight uh, era at the moment unfolding then? Because the big three are not really fighting the guys, are they? Well, all I can go back to is that two of them have done. So I give them the most respect. Wilder and Fury. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Joshua is a right specimen, and, and you know, proud to be British, and I'm glad he's British and like he flies the flag. But until he fights one of them two, you can't say he's the true world champion. Um, and plus, and I'm going to contradict myself here. I'm not saying I wouldn't do the same to a degree, but it's going to be at some stage you've got to fight one of them big, them other big two. Yeah. Let's get it on. Let's do a Fraser Foreman, Fraser Ali, 
they, they fought each other three times, didn't they, Fraser and Ali? Yeah. So, like, why can't you do that? They were all massive fights. They're saying they that uh, be another massive fight. Get it on. There's no reason why that can't happen. Yeah. And they might be on different TV platforms. Well, come together on something. It's happened before. Yeah. HBO's worked with Showtime, BBC's uh, televised certain fights or certain football matches when um, ITV have televised fights. The same thing. If the, anything can be done if the yeah. is right and there's a will. They're saying that uh, Joshua is going to fight his mandatory puller in a. Uh, uh, can't, can't wait, December. Be excited. What, Paul F against Joshua? <laughs> uh, red wine. Probably send me to sleep after a bit. Yeah. Unless, uh, so, unless Joshua gets him out of here early, I think that's his only one. There's only one winning here. It's uh, going to be. It's like if I fought just Justin. I'm getting a couple of stone away, but there's only one winner. <laughs> Justin. Justin. <laughs> no, what Especially if he falls on me. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying that it's going to be Miller in June and then Pulev in December for mandatory IBF. Well, the IBF call it then, it's because it has to be called, doesn't it, before mm -hmm. Christmas, yeah. yeah do you think he'll vacate Joshua or will he fight Pulev? Uh, AJ will be having a little meet, he might come in here in the library and have a little <laughs> business meeting, Joshua with Eddie. Side are they gonna strategize and are they gonna are they gonna pick sell away their future? Yeah. Um, and they might go, they don't sell, we don't get the moolah out of it, and it's all about the moolah because yeah. I think Joshua's getting a bit of the Eddie influence, I think he's becoming an accountant like, yeah. the, like the Earth, yeah. and, uh, and yeah. it's all about the accountancy and the a bottom line. With accountant us. by name, accountant by nature, isn't it then? Yeah. That's why sometimes you don't win purses. It's just there's not enough in it. Yeah. They've only won seven, haven't they, in 33 years? So, yeah, that's true. So, I've won more than I've lost, haven't I? Yeah. First bit. You have to put your money where your mouth is. You can't just have your account at that one all the time, can you, then? No, because you like, in any business, yeah. I've, I've been in a few businesses and you have lost leaders. So, that's what you do. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an hard business, but uh, all right. Well, listen, keep on plugging away, keep grinding, and uh, we'll find out. If we can't get him through the front door, Dennis, we'll get him through the back door. Back door. <laughs> keep on trucking. There you go. Thanks, Russ.